So how's it going guys? Uh, today I wanted to talk about repairing your motors. Just like uh, many of you, uh, I have a big pile of dead motors. Uh, since I've been fixing my own motors for about this past six or eight months, uh, I actually had a buddy of mine give me some. So a lot of these aren't mine, but I do have a lot of motors that I uh, break, whether I'm at a bando, flying over concrete, uh, all those kinds of things. So what I want to talk to you today about is how I go about to service my motors and uh, repair the problems with them that I can repair. Uh, and it's mostly using this machine right here. This is called an Arbor Press. And uh, what this does is it makes sure that you get a real nice firm press uh, straight up and down or straight down. So what we're going to use this for is we're going to use this for removing shafts we're going to use this for removing bases and uh and that's pretty much it and i'm gonna so i'm going to show you how to remove a motor shaft i'm going to show you how to remove a motor base and replace it and i'm going to show you how to do uh motor bearings so let me get this pile of dead motors out of here and we'll move on to my demonstration motor that uh, I recently tore uh, the base threads out while I was uh, flying in a parking garage by us. So the things that you're going to need to get this job done is you're going to need an Arbor Press, which I'll have a link down below. You're going to need uh, a driver. This is a 2.5 millimeter driver. You can use a 2 millimeter. I like using a 2.5, but I'll show you how I use that later. You're going to need one of these bearing pushers. Uh, this comes in handy for uh, in removing and installing bearings. You can also do it with the Arbor Press, but with as, with as tight as these bearings are put in, I prefer using this tool. They're not, they're not in there tight at all. Uh, and then you're going to need a motor shaft. So we'll get that out. We'll get one out uh, out of a motor to show you first. And then you're going to need your motor to repair. Oh, you're going to need bearings as well. So I'll put a link for these bearings. These bearings are, su are super cheap. Uh, they're ABEC, ABEC 7 bearings, I believe, which is a fairly high quality. It's not a great quality, but then again, uh, let's be honest with each other here. None of these bearings in these motors are really good. Uh, they're, they're really the wrong bearing for the application. But, uh, you know, it's all that we can get in that small size. So... Uh, you know, bearings, they go bad, uh, and you got to replace them if you want decent footage, but, uh, and then, yeah, so then, oh, and then I have a motor here that's burned, so we can talk about that part too, but, uh, for now, we're going to move into this. So, our first step that we want to do is we want to get a motor for this procedure, we already have a shaft. But I'm going to get another shaft out of this. So this, we're going to remove this shaft. So the first step we want to do here is we'll bring up our arbor press here. And then we're going to take and put our motor bell here. And we want to make sure that our shaft is aligned in that slot right here. So you put your shaft there, you know, because when you push it down, it's going to come out. So we'll try and get that right in the center of this, uh, right in the center of that, and then we'll give that a pull, and boom. Our bearing came out real nice. We didn't damage the bell at all. So anyway, uh, as you can tell here, we got our shaft out nice and clean. We didn't do any damage to this bell. Uh, this bell's already damaged, but anyway, we didn't do any damage to the bell, and we got our shaft out. So, I like using this shaft. There's no difference between the other one. This one I'm just going to put off to the side, but that shows you how to remove a shaft with this. So, the next part of our problem here is uh, we need to figure out a way to get the base off. If you want to remove bases, this is something that you need to make. Uh, essentially, I just made this with a, with a Dremel and just hacked it up. It's not even really that clean, but you just basically get a little piece of metal. You can find something put a slot in it, you know, and uh, smooth the edges off. So essentially what this does is this will go under here 
like so and that'll hold the stator and whatever that'll hold the stator so you can push the base out so what we're going to do here is we'll put it on this slot here and then we're going to come in here and we're going to put our you know again we want to make sure we're in this slot because we have enough clearance to push this base out so we'll get that centered in our slot there and then we're going to put our motor shaft in we'll get our motor shaft in the motor and what this is going to do is this is going to the shaft is going to push on the bearings and the base and it's going to actually remove the base from this motor because that's the only thing that's wrong with this motor here is the base is bad but we're going to replace the bearings for uh for the example here so we'll push this out we'll push the base out nice and gently okay so now our base is now removed and here's our motor base so now we have the bad part out and i already have bases but we can uh so i already have a bunch of bases a bunch of parts let me grab those and uh you know but what you would really want to do is maybe take a a motor with a burned stator let's say if you weren't going to rewind motors or uh you know maybe you could remove a base from a from a modern 2306 and let's say you're flying 2307s now you could put the 2306 base on there they're all compatible uh you know for whatever reason well i shouldn't say whatever reason but they, these manufacturers uh they pretty much keep all this stuff fairly standard so this is a brother hobby uh stator here and i have for example I have a bunch of bases here that are from a variety of different motors. Uh, this one here, this is a 3B base. And what else do I have? So I have a 3B base. This is a Sunny Sky base. Uh, uh, so yeah, so basically I've, I've used Brother Hobby. I've used... 3B and Sunny Sky bases, all interchangeable across the same. There are some, there are some motors that aren't compatible. Like this RC in power, this isn't compatible with Sunny Sky or Brother Hobby or whatever the stators are. But the bell isn't uh, because of the design, and nor is the uh, base. So some of the compatibilities might change. Uh, you know, they might not work together. It's just something you're going to have to explore. But I can tell you right now, most of the motors out there that a lot of people use are Brother Hobbies. Uh, they do a shit ton of OEMs. And uh, so most of the OEM motors that you see out there are Brother Hobbies. A lot of them are Sunny Skies. Uh, T-Motor does some. So I, I believe, I haven't really flown T-Motor for a long, long time, but I believe T-Motor is compatible with them as well. So anyway, in the mean, what we're going to do here really quick, uh, and I'm going to do it off camera, is I'm going to clean this all. You want to clean it with, uh, before you reinstall anything, you want to make sure that your parts are nice and clean, and we'll do an inspection here. Uh, what you want to look for is any broken wires here, because if you, when you do remove it, if you happen to break a wire, you're not going to be able to use this uh, base and there are some manufacturers unfortunately or you're not going to be able to use this stator that's wound and there are some manufacturers unfortunately that use some epoxy on here so the potential to not be able to do this uh with those motors is fairly high but it, i'm not saying that it's not possible it can be possible uh you know like th here's a here's a 3b base they actually, a 3B base and stator, they actually don't uh, epoxy, but Sunny Sky does put epoxy, which you can see on this base here. You can see here, so when this was removed, it pulled off all the wires. So some of this, some of these motors you can't do this with, Motor Hobby are extremely repairable. So now what we're going to do is we're going to clean this. And I'm going to clean that off camera really quick. I'm going to clean this stator. And 
then we're going to we're going to clean the inside diameter of this theater so we get a nice strong bond when we apply when we apply this Loctite retaining compound. Now this this is a different type of Loctite, so you will need to run on and buy this. This is a uh, retaining compound Loctite, and as you can see, it's for press fits, uh, and these are all press fit. In case you're not familiar with the terminology, or interference fit. Uh, that's another term that's that's used as well. Okay, so with this base, what we're going to start out doing is we're going to remove our bearings here. Uh, now what I like to do is I like to get that on a slight angle like such, just to get the first one out. It's easier with a stator on there, but uh, so there, there's one bearing removed. And we're not going to reuse those. And then we'll take this tool here, right here, and we'll just pop that down as you can see I mean there's not a lot of force in there I just use this stinky little hammer hardly any pressure at all uh, next thing we're gonna do here is we're going to inspect this just to make sure and from what I see we have no damaged wire or insulation on here you're looking here to make sure that you didn't break any wires or nick insulation or whatever this one's fine I'm going to take and clean out the in inside of this. When you, when you do put the new Loctite on, you want to make sure that you have as clean as a surface as you can, and that'll, that'll help you with uh, adhesion. For the base here, we're going to clean that base. Clean that off. We're going to clean out the bearing cup while we're here. Clean out the lower bearing cup. Just get a nice fresh start. So our next step here now is we are going to take and go to a flat because we're going to push, we're going to press this in. We're going to take our Loctite here and we don't need a huge amount of this. We'll just put, I like to put it on a, um, a Q-tip here. And then we can get a nice even coat. And you just put a nice thin coat on there. And then we're going to put a nice thin coat on the inside of our stator. We'll put this up there. We'll do our initial alignment. You want to make sure that you're not pinching any of the wires when you insert this. Uh, that you shouldn't be, but just double check, make sure. And now we'll bring up our arbor. And we're going to push this down. Not a lot of force. It's very lightly. It should slide right in there. And now we're fully inserted. So before we use this motor, we are going to have to let it dry. But we still got a little time to work on this anyway, so most of it should dry. Now here I'm just cleaning off any excess of that shaft. Of the uh, retaining compound for that shaft. Alright, perfect. So, next up. We, now we have a replaced base. That brought that motor back to life. Now we're going to put in new bearings. These are super easy to do. Get two new bearings out. And for this, all we're going to do, and since we have the arbor press out, we can do this here. Do this one. Push that down. Make sure that's fully seated. That is. For the lower one, we're going to just use this tool. And we're going to slide that in there. 
like so. And then we'll just give it a nice little tap with a hammer until it's fully seated. We'll retap this with a hammer. Just make sure it's fully seated. Both bearings fully seated in there now. Brand new. Uh, I do have a brand new bell over here. And, you know, same thing with the bells. This this bell does not fit this motor. This this motor was a 2207.5 base. This is a 2207 bell. Uh, I just went with these bells because I could. these were available to me. If you can find a, a bell that's cheaper and durable for you, and it's the same size, so like a 2207, 2207, most 7, 2207 bells will work on a 2207, 2207.5, and 2208 base. Uh, those are the sizes that I fly, but if you're a 2306 pilot, you could probably find a 2306 bell that'll be compatible with yours. As you can tell here, you know, there's a little, little dinky bit of stator hanging out, but otherwise, it's good. Now listen to that. This bearing here is totally smooth. This is a totally new motor so yeah anyway that covers how to replace the motor base it also covered how to replace the motor shaft uh, all using this tool so now we are able to replace our bearings we are able to replace our base and we are able to replace our motor shafts which is huge uh, and there's a couple other components that are left that you can damage, which would be windings. That I might cover in another video, showing how to rewind motors with this wire and get them back in the air again, too. Uh, and I'm also working on something to make it so a bent bell is reusable and put back and round again. So. Hopefully I can get that project accomplished here shortly and maybe even figure out a way to bring it to the market for sale. Talk soon, guys. Hopefully this video helped you and uh, have fun out there. Hopefully you can save some money by replacing, by repairing your motors.